Welcome to the NX 8.5 presentation for draft and blend capability. Uh, the part that's currently on the screen uh, we're going to use as a basis for this presentation. Uh, there are a number of modelling issues with this part that's been supplied to us in IGIS format. Uh, we're going to go in there and correct those and, uh, and then uh, take the part further on um, so that it's actually manufacturable. So the first thing that we're going to do is remove a number of faces which I've uh, highlighted in red. Uh, so we're just going through the selection process for these. As we select them, NX is giving us a preview of what the uh, repaired component will look like. So uh, removing the faces just doesn't leave us with a hole. NX will uh, heal the part back into a solid. So uh, we've got a couple of very small edge blends on the bottom of the component as well which we are going to remove at the same time. Next we're going to replay the part back to its last feature and during the replay we can see that one of the edge blends has failed uh, this is due to uh, a face that we've removed uh, which was being blended. So we can go ahead and remove that blend from the component, uh, like so. Then continue on with the, the modelling process. So uh, just on a closer inspection of the component, we can see that down in this region here uh, we've got uh, uh, an edge blend that doesn't look too uh, too nice. We've, uh, so we're just going to add in uh, a couple of those sharp edges which we created uh, by the removal of the very small red edge blends. Okay. The next stage is we're going to roll this part back in its history uh, to a particular point, and then continue on. Uh, the modelling process by adding draft to a, a number of the, the faces. So we're going to start off by adding draft to uh, the green and yellow faces and we do that by going into the draft command, selecting the uh, direction of draw and then selecting the various edges. So we're just picking some tangent chains of, uh, of edges and NX gives us a display of uh, the before and after. And we can dynamically change the draft angle, uh, but uh, for this case we're going to add five, 5 degrees draft to uh, the green and yellow surfaces uh, as, uh, as we've just done there. Uh, flipping the part over, we're going to add draft to uh, the two pink bosses once again by selecting the edges and selecting the, uh, 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 the line of draw we've added 5 degrees draft as uh, seen there. So the next thing we want to do is also add 5 degrees of draft to the dark pink surfaces that run around the edge of the part and we do that by selecting uh, the line of draw again which is normal to that surface and then picking the edges that we want the surfaces that we're adding draft to to rotate about. And once again by selecting uh, the various edges NX then goes ahead and adds the, uh, the draft to those faces. Let's update the part to the end feature again. Okay, just rotating the part around to the other side here, we can see that these blue surfaces 
have zero degree draft on them. Uh, so uh, part of the design intent for this part is that the, uh, the blends at the bottom of the blue surfaces have to stay in their location. So we're using uh, the, uh, the, the draft body command, sorry, the, uh, the draft command, but tangent surfaces. So picking one of the blue surfaces, uh, then tangent selects all of the others. And um, once again, adding five degrees draft to them. It's the blue surfaces which get uh, draft added to them by rotating or revolving the surface around the, uh, the blend at the base of the surface. So the blend surface stays in situ and the blue surfaces rotate their way around it. Next we're just going to add the finishing blends to the component. These are very varying sizes from 5mm down to about 1.5. So we're going to add a 2mm radius on these pair of edges. We'll add uh, these ones around the base here at uh, 1.5 millimeters, and do the same around the top of this set of edges here. And we'll also include the sharp edges that we created uh, earlier by the deletion of some of those red surfaces. Just complete those off with some 1.5 millimeter radii. Uh, I've just noticed that uh, the pink bosses and uh, uh, the the centre hub uh, actually cross the split line, so we wouldn't actually be able to manufacture this in its current state. So what we need to do here is um, split the pink surfaces where they cross the uh, the, the parting of the component. So uh, I'm going to do this by splitting the surfaces. So I'll start by creating myself a datum plane on the on, on the line of split. Just uh, resize that uh, so that it's approximately the right uh, size and location. It doesn't really matter; they're infinite in size, but uh, uh, just like to get it the right size. So uh, picking. Uh, the three pink surfaces and the datum plane then imprints a set of edges onto those surfaces and then splits them. So now using those new edges and we're going to uh, select the edges okay from edges pick the stationary edges then add, uh, for this particular set of surfaces, we're going to add 10 degrees of draft on there. And now that we've done that, we finally finish off with those couple of, couple of uh, 1.5 millimeter radii just to complete. Uh, blends off from this side of the component. So flipping the component over to the other side we can see we've got this green boss that's, protrude, that's protruding out of the side. Uh, we need to uh, make this manufacturable so what we're going to do we're going to add some material to the underside of that boss by once again just adding draft to it and uh, specifying 5 degrees draft that then infills the underside of that boss uh, which then allows us to quite quickly run a 1.5mm 
radius around uh, the base. And that completes our component.